Discord's new update allows you to upload emojis into your Discord bot and use them anywhere on Discord, and today I'm going to show you how you can implement this feature. So essentially, the brand new Discord update allows app emojis, which are custom emojis that are installed into your application that you can use either with guild install commands or user install commands, so essentially anywhere on Discord with your application. You can add up to 2,000 custom emojis, either JPEG, PNG, or GIF files, and they have a relatively small small file size as well. Now it's important to note that these emojis may only be used by the application. So essentially the purpose of this is your application can now have custom emojis that they can use anywhere on Discord regardless of if they're in specific servers or not, making your application more customizable. So in order to manually do this, you can actually go over to the developer portal in the description below and you can go over to emojis and then you can go ahead and click on upload emoji. When you don't have any emojis, this is what it will look like you can just go ahead and start and you could choose an emoji you could upload it and it will give you a name id and if you copy the mark down here then in a discord server you could actually go ahead and copy and paste that markdown and then it's going to show that emoji but if you try to go ahead and send it it's not going to work because the only entity on discord that can use that emoji is your discord bot so i'm going to show you how you can actually use code to add remove and get emojis and also how you can implement these emojis into your discord bot so let's go ahead and get started all right so over into the code we're going to start by going over to commands and we're going to go ahead and create app emoji.js so to start we're going to go ahead and get our slash command builder and our embed builder from our discord JS package and then we're going to go ahead and get Axios and we're going to get RFS because we're going to be using Axios to make API calls and we're going to be using FS to convert our attachment to a usable image. Then we can do module that exports and we're going to go ahead and open this up. I'm going to set owner to true because this is a owner only command. We're going to do data. This is going to be new slash command builder. We're going to go ahead and set a name. This is going to be app emoji. Then we can go ahead and say a description and we can just say app emoji because we're going to be using sub commands that is not going to show. So our first sub command is going to be our create sub command. So we're going to go ahead and add a sub command. The name is going to be create with a description of create and app emoji. We're going to have an attachment option with the name emoji and the description of the emoji to upload. And then we're going to set required to true. We're also going to have a string option, which is going to be the name of the emoji to upload. And that's also going to be required. We're going to add another sub command after that, which is going to be a remove sub command with the description of remove an app emoji. And we're going to add a string option here with the emoji ID and it's going to be the ID of the emoji to remove. This is also going to be set to required. And then our final sub command is going to be git and it's going to get all of your app emojis. So after we set those up, we can do async executes. We're going to go ahead and get our interaction and our clients and we can open this up. We're going to start off by getting our options from our interaction and we're also going to get our sub command and we're going to do options that get sub command. So we're going to get the sub command from the options. Then we're going to go ahead and get a couple of things from our config file. So we're going to do const config equals json.parse. And we're going to go ahead and do fs.readfile sync. We're going to get our config file and we're going to do utf8. And then we're also going to go ahead and pull our app ID and our token from our config just like that. Next, we're going to go ahead and write out our send message function. So we can do async function and we're going to do send message. We're going to pass in our message parameter and we can open this up. We're going to go ahead and get our embed to send, which is just going to be a pretty basic embed with the color of blurple and our description of a message. So that's going to be what we're sending. And then we can go ahead and send that message using our interaction or apply. And we're also going to set informal to true. Then we're going to go ahead and create another function. This is going to be called API call and we're going to get our type and we're going to get our data and we can open this up. So we're going to do if and we can do type equals create. We can open that up. Then we're going to actually come out of that. We're going to do if and we can go ahead and say type and we can do equals remove. We're going to open that up as well. And then we're going to do one more if and we can do type and we're going to do equals gets and we're going to open that up as well. So these are going to be the API call functions that we're going to be using within our sub commands and we're going to fill these in as we go. But first, let's go ahead and create our subcommands in the code. So we're going to do var outputs, and then we can go ahead and switch to our subcommand, and we're going to open this up. So let's just go ahead and get case create to start, and we're going to go ahead and fill this initial command out, and then we can fill out our API call for the create command. So we're going to get both of our variables. We're going to get our emoji variable from the attachment. It's going to be emoji, and then we're going to get name, which is going to be from the string name. 
Then we're gonna go ahead and get a image. So essentially we're gonna take our attachment and we're gonna get cons response and we're gonna use Axios. We're gonna get our emoji.url and we're gonna get our response type, which is gonna be array buffer. And then we're gonna create a buffer. So we're gonna do buffer.form and we're gonna get our response.data and we're gonna set it to binary. And then we're gonna get a base64 image from our buffer and we're gonna set that to string as base64. That way we can upload it to Discord in the format that they require. Now we're going to go in and get our data. So we can do const create data equals, and we're going to open up an object here. We're going to get our name, which is going to be our name variable and our emoji. And this is going to be data. And then we can do colon. We can do image slash JPEG. Then we can do a semicolon and then we can do base 64. And then we're going to open this up after a comma and we can just go ahead and say base 64 image. All right. So after we do that, we're going to go ahead and get our output. So we're going to do outputs equals and we can do await API call and we're going to go ahead and call our create. And then we're also going to go ahead and pass in our data, which is going to be our create data object that we can access. So after we go ahead and do that, we're going to say if no outputs, then we're going to open this up and we're going to send our error message. So we can do await send message and we're just going to go ahead and say it looks like there was an issue. This could be because you already have an emoji with that name. The file size is too large or a number of other internal issues. So if we have an error, we're going to catch that. And if we don't have an error, then we can just go ahead and send our confirmation message. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to do a wait send message. And then we're going to go ahead and get our emoji. So we're going to do an arrow. We can do a colon. We can do output.data.name. We can do another colon. And we're going to do output.data.id followed by a closing arrow. Then we're going to say, I have created a brand new app emoji copy. And we're going to copy that exact same thing in ticks into my code to use it. So essentially here, we're going to show that emoji. And then here, we're going to give the formula to use that emoji. After we do that, we're actually done with the create command. So let's go ahead and create our API call. So up here within our create if logical statement, all we have to do is create our Axios request. So this is going to be pretty simple. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do const response equals await axios.post. We're going to post to the Discord API slash applications, and then we're going to get our app ID from our config, and then we're going to do slash emojis, and then we're going to post our name, which is going to be our data.name from our function, and we're going to get our image, which is going to be data.emoji, which is going to be the base64 image string that Discord is going to upload into an emoji. And then we're going to get our headers, which is going to be authorization. And that's going to be our bot token also from our config. And then we're going to get our content type, which is going to be application slash JSON. We're also going to go ahead and catch an error here. In case we get one, we do not want to crash our bot. After that, we're going to go ahead and return our data so we can do if no response. And then we can just go ahead and return false. But if we do have a response, then we're going to say else return a response just like that. All right. So next, we're going to go back to our sub commands and we're actually going to go ahead and continue on. The next sub command that we're going to work on is going to be our git. So we can do break and we're going to get case, which is going to be gets within this. We're going to go ahead and first start by doing outputs equals await API call. And we're going to go ahead and do our git API call here with no data. Then we're going to do var items equals outputs and we can do dot data dot items and we can do var format string equals. And we're actually going to go ahead and just leave this as a string that's empty. So now we're going to go ahead and for each our items. So we're going to do wait items out for each. We're going to async our emoji. We're going to do format string plus equals. And then essentially what we're doing here is we're getting every single emoji that the app has and we're formatting each one of those into our string. So for every single emoji that we have, we're going to take that emoji. We're going to take that emoji name and that emoji ID. We're going to make it into a string that looks like this and we're going to add it to our format string. So by the end of the for each, the format string is going to be full of emojis with this format. So after we have all of that information, all we have to do is send our message saying here is your app emojis list. We're going to do two backslash ends and we're going to get our format string. So like I said, we take all of the emojis that our application has from our API call and we format them into a string that we can then send to the user. So the next step is to go back up into our API call function over into our git logical statement. So we can just go ahead and paste in pretty much the exact same thing that we did above. We're going to do const response equals await to axios.git. We're going to get the exact same API call URL that we did above. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get headers. Uh, we're going to get authorization and it's going to be token. We're essentially just leaving out our data and we're actually getting from the API instead of posting. Uh, and then we're also going to catch an error. And then after that, we can do the same thing. If no response, then we're going to return false and else we can return our response. So just like we did before. 
So the last thing that we have to do is our remove subcommand and our remove API call. So let's write out that subcommand. So we can come down here, we're gonna break and we can get our case, which is gonna be remove. So let's go ahead and start off by getting our variables. So we're gonna go ahead and do const ID equals options.getString. That's gonna be our emoji ID. And then we can do output equals await API call. We're gonna remove. And then for our data, we're gonna pass in our ID variable. So now that we have our API and we have our output, we can go ahead and say if no output, just like we did in our create command, then we can open this up and we're gonna go ahead and send a message here. It's gonna be a wait send message. We can say it looks like there was an issue. This is most likely due to the emoji ID not existing use and then we can do slash app emoji to check if that emoji ID does exist. And then after that, we can actually say else and we can open this up and we're gonna go ahead and send our confirmation message and we're gonna do a wait send message. We can say I have removed the emoji ID from my app emojis and it's now gone. So now something I was actually thinking about here um, that I kind of messed up is if the app does not have any emojis and we run our git command, it's going to be an empty string. So we can actually go ahead and fix that by coming down here and we can say if format string dot length, we can do length is equal to zero, then we can do format string and we can do plus equals and we can just say no emojis found or something like that. Uh, we can keep it simple. That way, if we don't have any emojis, then we can just go in and fix that. All right, so now let's go back to our remove command. We actually finished the sub command portion of this. So now let's go ahead and write out our API call. So we're gonna come back up here. We're gonna find type equals remove in our API call function. And we're gonna do the exact same API call we did for the other API calls. This time we're gonna do axios.delete and we're gonna get the Discord API just like we did above. But instead of doing emojis and then nothing after that, we're going to do emojis slash data because our data is going to be our emoji ID that we want to delete. So essentially, we're passing in the ID of the emoji we want to delete in the URL. And then after that, we can just do authorization headers and we're going to get our bot token from our config, just like we did in all the other API calls. Then we're also going to go ahead and catch an error there. And then just like before, we're going to say if no response, we can go ahead and return and we can say false. And then and we can say else return response. So we either return false with no output or we return our output that we can handle within our subcommand, which we already have done. All right, so that's a lot of code, but essentially what we've done here is we've created our subcommands, we've gotten all of our information, and we've created a function that's going to create, remove, and get the data from the Discord API into our app based off of the subcommand that's run. And then we have handled the subcommands down here and used that API call function in there when we need it. So now let's go ahead and save the files, restart the bot and test out this app emoji. All right, so over in the Discord, we can actually go ahead and test this out. Now, something I want to emphasize is these commands are for integration into your Discord bot so that you can manage your app emojis with your Discord bot instead of having to use the developer portal. You don't have to use all these commands if you want to just upload your app emojis in the developer portal and then you can copy the markdown and paste it into the embed uh, just like we did in the code. All you'd have to do is copy the markdown into that string and it would work perfectly fine as long as it's an app emoji. But because we already created the commands and this is an API video as well, we can actually demonstrate them. So let's go ahead and get our app emojis command and let's just start off by getting our app emojis. So as you can see, we have one app emoji, we have the discord.js, and if we actually go ahead and click on it, it's gonna say this emoji is from the dev toolkit app. So it's an app emoji. And then we have our name and we have an RID as well. So let's actually start by removing this emoji. So let's copy on RID and we can do app emoji, we can do remove. Let's go ahead and paste that ID. And it's gonna say it's removed that emoji from the app emojis. So now if we do app emoji git, we can actually go ahead and see that it says no emojis found, which is that little extra part that we added into the command to handle the fact that the app might not have any emojis. So now let's go ahead and create some emojis. We can go ahead and use our create command. We're gonna go ahead and click on upload a file. And now we can essentially upload any file in here. I have a couple of logos and otherwise smaller images that we could use. Uh, so if we just go ahead and copy one of them, we could just do the Discord logo and we could go ahead and give it a name. We could do Discord and we send it. Now, as you can see, it's gonna say, I've created a brand new app emoji and it's gonna give us some markdown that we can actually use in our bot. As you can see, if we copy it, it works, but for me, it won't work if I send it. Um, and then it's gonna say, copy it in my code. It also is gonna show you the emoji that is a new app emoji from the Dev Toolkit app. And we can do the same thing we did before. We can go ahead and run our git command. And now we have our emoji. So let's go ahead and create one more. This time I'm gonna go ahead and create a GIF and we can go ahead and say test GIF. 
let's go ahead and send it so now unfortunately for gifts for some reason there is an issue it's not actually showing the gif when you do the emoji but if we go over to the developer portal and we can actually go in and reload because we made some api calls as you can see here we have both of the emojis that we uploaded and the test gif looks like it should be a gif it looks like it should work but in the code, for some reason, it does not. So I don't know if that's an issue on my end or an issue on Discord's. I'm assuming it's a Discord issue, um, but it did create the GIF emoji and it did work. So hopefully that issue will be fixed in the future. But we can do our app emoji and we can go ahead and do get one more time just to show that now we have two app emojis that are both usable in your code. So that's how you can use Discord's brand new app emoji system for your Discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels here and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.